If asked directly, would you say that you believe in ghosts? However, there is no one correct answer to this question. For the first time, researchers utilizing the Large Hadron Collider discovered evidence that something behaves similarly to a particle accelerator. So, what do the researchers find out? What makes it a ghost and not something else? And to what extent should we be alarmed by this new information? With this video, we fill you in on the latest discovery made by scientists using the massive Hadron Collider. While you're watching this video, billions of particles are zipping through your body without causing any harm. The Big Hadron Collider has shed light on the identities of these particles, as well as other surprising facts regarding these political groups. Large Hadron Collider, on the other hand, the largest and most powerful particle accelerator ever built, it is used to smash energetic particles in order to study the structure of the nucleus. They aid in the study of various facets of physics and were first developed by scientists in the 1930s. They function by producing electric fields that accelerate the beam of particles, increasing their energy. The particles are concentrated in a narrow beam thanks to the magnetic fields. To gather a prisoner, the Massive Hadron Collider fires beams of high-energy particles at nearly the speed of light. Following the impact, the beams go on in different directions through two vacuum seal pipelines or two separate teams. The electromagnets in the LHC are wound up special electric wires that are superconducting. Because of this, electricity can flow through them with minimal loss of power and maximum efficiency. I mean, even this B, the magnets at LHC are cooled to a temperature lower than outer space's 271.3 degrees Celsius. The accelerator at the LHC is a 27-kilometer ring buried beneath the surface of the Sun, and it uses thousands of magnets of varying sizes to regulate the beams within. The LHC will be built below ground because doing so will save money compared to buying land on the surface, will have less of an impact on the surrounding area, and will take advantage of the fact that the Earth's crust acts as a neutral radiation shield. The depth of the excavation is up to 100 meters. The construction of the LHC took a decade and 4.75 billion dollars. The majority of the money for the project came from European countries like Germany, the United Kingdom, France and Spain. As an intriguing aside, Sun plans to invest $23 billion in a 100-kilometer-long new super collider. Interesting fact, the LHC uses as much electricity in a year as a third of the homes in the canton of Geneva do. Nevertheless, the many discoveries that have been credited to the LHC have made the expense worthwhile. The identification of neutrinos as a new type of ghost particle is one example of such a feet. During a recent LHC trial run, the tiniest of particles, neutrinos, were seen. All these sense-forward experiments working together to produce this historic result, but where were the Wasau neutrinos? For what reason were people getting so worked up over them? Neutrinos are produced by several nuclear processes, despite the fact that they're extremely hard to catch. Since neutrinos lack electrical charge, the name neutrino is a fitting description. Only two forces, gravity and the weak force, are capable of interacting with the nodes in a tree. Neutrinos are subatomic particles that move at the speed of light and have no mass. Numerous neutrinos were created in a split second after the Big Bang, and many more are being created even now. They are produced in nuclear reactions such as those found in politically accelerated subject reactors, in supernovae, and in the radioactive delay of various substances. According to research, there are a billion times as many neutrinos as protons in the cosmos. Since neutrinos are inert to most materials, in the cosmos, billions of them can pass through a single square centimeter of your body without you ever noticing them. Most matter can be thought of as a translucent window through which they travel unimpeded. Unlike other particles, which can be altered by their interactions with various materials, neutrinos carry a plethora of information as they transverse the universe. As our knowledge of neutrinos grows, so does our familiarity with the big Bang. The discovery of neutrinos was made by a scientist investigating the mysterious B22K process. The problem with B22K is that it appears to violate two of the most fundamental physical laws, the law of conservation of energy and the law of conservation of momentum. They found that the proton did not move in the opposite direction of the electron during the B syndicate, indicating that the final configuration of particles had somewhat too little energy. Even though Paley understood the supposed political hit could not be detected, a physicist 
journalist by the name of Wolfgang Paoli proposed the possibility of an additional political fleeing the nucleus and taking along the lost energy and momentum in 1930. I've done a terrible thing, he confessed to a friend. I theorized a particle that could not be detected. A lot of the neutrinos that get produced here wind up hitting the Earth. Different detectors were designed by scientists to capture these neutrinos, but their tests have so far detected at most a third of what they expect to see. Over the course of many years, scientists have attempted to find a solution to this problem, but they have overlooked a crucial detail. There were three types of neutrinos. The electron neutrino describes the most common form of neutrino, while the mule neutrino and the tau neutrino describe the other two. Neutrinos change between the three types as they travel the 93 light years that separate the Sun and the Earth. Since the earliest neutrino experiments were only set up to look for a single neutrino flavor, they were always missing about two-thirds of the total. It wasn't until the discovery of the Sun that neutrinos were known to have celebrity inside the LHC or any political accelerate towards whole. The enthusiasm that followed the discovery was due to the fact that it gave scientists a new way to peer into the subatomic world. If neutrinos can be detected inside the LHC, scientists will get a deeper understanding of their function in the universe. Prior to their discovery by the LHC, neutrinos had already been captured by scientists in the Antarctic Ice Cube Detector, using techniques similar to those used by the Japanese Super Cameo Candy Detective Hilarious Labs Mini Boon. All of these instruments utilize the Chernikov radiation method to detect neutrinos. The rationale behind the radiation strength method is the same as that behind a sonic boom produced by by a fast-moving airplane. Scientists keep an eye out for a faint blue glow left behind when the political is forced to pass through a similar slowing medium. Despite being able to identify solar neutrino signatures with these tests, scientists still have many unanswered concerns, such as what types of high-energy neutrinos are created when particles collide in a standard particle accelerator. Scientists from the Phase of Partnership built a new detector they dubbed Phase New in order to search these man-made neutrinos. What is the procedure for phase change, layers of light detecting dunkled emulsion were sandwiched between thick metal plates constructed of lead tungsten to create the phase new. To create the particle body, the neutrino must first collide with the atomic nuclei in the dense metal plates. Finally, the emotional component functions similarly to traditional photographic film. When neutrino decay products come into contact with the emulsion, the particles are permanently marked with the traced contour. The physicist can then deduce that some of the markings were made by particles when the researchers acquire the necessary emotional response and study the particle trails left behind by the neutrino. This technology is so precise that scientists can determine which of the three types of neutrinos they have discovered it is. This proves that the U-detector was able to detect neutrinos and that they have chosen the correct locations inside the enormous ring to do so. Now that a functioning detector has been built, though, physicists are hard at work creating a larger version of it. If you want to detect neutrinos using this version, you'll have better luck. When the LHC restarts, scientists hope to utilize the detector to learn more about the neutrinos created by the particle accelerator's depth by distinguishing between neutrinos and their antimatter counterparts, known as antineutrinos. Compared to the existing version's 29 kilos, the new detectors will weigh nearly 1,090 kilograms. We anticipate being able to record more than 10 neutrino interactions in subsequent runs of the LHC with the new strong detectors and its prime placement in the sun. To this end, they plan to detect neutrinos with the highest energy ever created by human means. Physicists believe that hypothetical dark photons, which are not visible to the naked eye may be intimately tied to dark matter, the enigmatic non-luminous element believed to account for around 85% of the matter in the universe. Share your thoughts on these spectral particles in the space provided below.